Matthew 25, verse 24. Can I not say amen? Then I'm going to go for it. Because the gospel of Rose and Joseph, Matthew chapter 25, verse 24. This is the end of what we call the parable of the talents. Matthew 25 and verse number 24. English or not, so I got the one. Then he, which had received the one talent, came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast, that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. What is matika? It's an English hard, so it doesn't mean stricto. Listen, no, keep mukalipay niya, because that's what is the idea of nagpasu siya sa yung agalon. Nagyan ako nagpakias kung wod stricto kirka, gahika, dali, dali, dali. What's the word? Maabho. You're a tough, hard man. Ako na hibulo ng ika us ka matika ng tao. Na nagaani di inikaw wala nakabugas o nagatipon di inikaw wala nakasabwa o ako na hadlo o miat o mitago sa imong talento di hat sa yuta tanawa dito ikaw magabato niya na imo ang yan agalo ni tuba o niyo nga to kaniya ikaw daw tan o ikaw daw tan o tapulang sulubuon Ikaw na sayo na ako matani, di in ako wala nagpugas. Ako matigong, o ako matigong, sorry, di in ako wala nagsabwa. What is sabwa? Scatter, kala, kati kala, sabwa. Verse 27. Busa, ikaw kinahang nagunta, may butang sa akong kwarta, na ito sa mga tig pangilis. O unya sa akong patawod, akong magadawa, punta sa akong gina, ipanagiya, Kuman ang tubo. So my message this morning is different opportunities, different results, same commendation. Kita na kasi mo commendation. It means pagdaye, ma sulti good job. So sa masaya, lahit na opportunidad, lahit na resulta, pero prio ng pagdaye. Commendation is to say, good job. You did right. What is, is there another word besides pagdaye for that? Pagsuluti sa tao ng mild good, well done. Pagdaye nila. Alright. Different opportunities, different results, same commendation. Magka po na tatay kung makaling po, kasi na sa'yo ka, Holy Father, we need your help this morning. Our hearts are a little distracted by concerns for Sophia and other burdens we're carrying. Lord God, would you help me, Father, for the next few minutes to focus on the truth you've given me? Would you help our people to focus? Would you help us, Lord, to put aside the burdens and, and, uh, uh, and let you speak to our hearts for a few minutes? Lord, would you encourage us? Would you strengthen us? Would you help us to do our best to take advantage of the opportunities you've given us, whatever they may be? We love you, Lord. Bless us. Dear God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I have a question. What does that mean to you? Does that mean anything? Okay, so the Saktanion, talento, so it's of English, talent. It does not mean talent in the sense of abilidad. It means talent like a measurement of money. Now, I class A sa korta, pagsukot sa, as pagsukot sa korta, a measurement of money. Talents, just like we have pesos and uh, centavos, they had talents and other other ways of measuring money. Mura, kitang tanang kabalo sa story, that's a parable, sa mga talents. Well, I think we all understand what parables are. See, this is nagtudlo, pinagi sa mga stories, and the stories always had a common, common events, common activities. Pero siya nagkama sa common na stories, pagtudlo nga espiritual mga pagkamatuuran, a common story that teaches spiritual truth. It's called a parable, or sa pasaya sambingay, di ba? Sambingay. Dini dini nga story. See, this is nai. Nag 
Siguro ka ba isang businessman, negosyante, di ba? Businessman, huwag nag-BA siya, layo yun, nadugay kayo. In this story, the businessman is a picture of Jesus Christ. Why don't we put these on the board? I think it would be helpful for me to have something to point at. Businessman equals Jesus Christ. What does he call him? Uh, I, I don't have him in front of me. We're going to call him the businessman. Okay? So in the story, see, he's going to go to the negotiation thing, and I'll be a guy, and I'll be a guy, and I'll be a guy. And in the story, they have a, some big guy, a businessman, he's a picture of Jesus Christ. 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 He's in a far place. And na dugay na siya, pero buwan buwan mabalik siya. Diba? So it's a picture of Jesus Christ. In the story, before he left, so wala pa siya, nagbago, naglayo nga, nagato na sa layo nga lugar. Before he went, he called three of his servants. Look up sa yung mga surugong yung mga employees, we would say today. But in that time, they were called servants, mga surugong. And he gave each of the servants some money. Siya ni Hatak si... Matag, matag service sa, sa korta, sa mga talents. Now, why did he give them money? Nga naman siya ni Hatag nila o korta. Araw mong gasto, bonus na lang, gasto para sa ilang gawag lingon, dili man. He gave them his personal money because he wanted them to invest his money so he could make more money. That was the purpose. Siya ni Hatag nila sa korta, araw mong sila, mag-invest ng korta sa pisa ng ultra klasi sa nulong negotiate any kind of business but to make money with his money. Mukwa siya o ginansya pinagi sa ilang work. So in this story, the businessman is a picture of whom? The big businessman is a picture of whom? Jesus Christ. Now, I have a question. Who do you think the servants are a picture of? Keep some uh, servants needing a story. Keep that. So right now, the servants is Christians. The servants is us. Kita. Kita ang mga sulugon ni Jesus Cristo. But what about the money? Put down underneath it, the money. Ang talents, maong klase sa korta. What is the money a picture of? Ang korta naghulat why sa unsama? Yes, I will get it just a minute away. It's important in the story that we notice something. We haven't gone through the whole story yet. We will in a minute. But it's very important as we're trying to sulay that. Claro yun, ang businessman, Jesus Cristo. Ang mga sulugon kita. Pero unsa? Can I say unsa'y gihulagway sa korta? Can I say it that way? Unsa'y gihulagway sa korta. What is that a picture of? Now, first thing we have to notice is he did not give them all the same amount. Wala siya ni Hatan nila sa tanan na sa tanan. Wala siya ni Hatan kanila ang tanan sa priyo nga amount. Diba? So clearly, this money, to what? Just give me that number. To one he gave five, to another three, to another, I'm sorry, two, three. Two, to another one. So, umatag tao na alakin amount. What is amount? Kadaghan? Kadaghan. Kantida. 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 I've heard that word, but I've forgotten it. I don't know if you remember it. Okay. But if he gave a different amount, kung siya niya ang laing na kantida sa matag tao, clearly this can't be a picture of salvation. Kung ang kitang kanan, malawas sa priyo na pahagi. Di ba? It also cannot mean the Bible. Dali, kanil, dali, naghuligway sa pulong sa Diyos. Kung ang kitang kanan, ay priyo na Biblia. Dali, lahe. It also is not a picture of the Holy Spirit because we all have the same Holy Spirit. So what is the money a picture of? Kung lahit lahit ang tanan, unsang, unsang, unsay kuhiki, I cannot talk, unsay kihulagway sa porta. Go with me to verse 15, Matthew 25 and verse 15. Let's look at it. Matthew chapter 25, verse 15. And unto one he gave five talents. We just listed that. And to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. The word several in Old English, in the Bible, usai, kita makadoa sa pulong several, we think pipila. The word several does not mean pipila in the Bible. It means lain lain. When you see that, that's why it's several ability. Different kinds of abilities. Because I have 
O nga ito sa usa, siya may hatag sa lima katalento, sa laing duha, o sa laing, laing pa, usa. Sa matag tao, sumala sa iyang nagkalain-laing nga kahanas. That's his ang abilidad. O tihat-tihat, mihimo sa iyang panaw. So what are these talents of picture? Now, this is not a small amount of money. Dalit gamay, para na o, five, two, one. Dalit pesos ni, talents ni. This would be like me saying, I, uh, ang negosyante ni hat like 50,000 sa usa, 20,000 pesos sa laing, o 10,000. Dako kiyot kini ng hora. This is not a small amount of money. Dako ni. But what is it a picture of? Talent tao, magbasa sa story, sila magpunong na, ah, I got it. Kini mao ang picture sa atong laing laing abilidad. Because, kita ng tanan, ay laing abilidad, di ba? We all have different abilities, laing laing kahanas. But actually, that's not true because look at the verse again. Look at it again. Verse 15. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man, means he gave to every man according to his several ability. And straightway took his journey. Samatag tao, sumala sa iyong nagkalain laing na kahanas o tihat-tiha mihimo sa iyong panaw. Watch now. He decided how many talents to give them based on their different abilities. Siya ang nag-decision ng mahata nila sa mga laing-laing na mouths, laing-laing, what was that word? Kanda. Kandidad, kandidad sa talents, gibase ang iyong decision sa ilang abilidad. So, the talents is not the ability. The talents were based on their abilities. He thought, mas hana siya. So, ako mahata niya, mas daghang porta. Noon mora, siya mugang mag mas daghang ginatsagi kang kaniya. Kung ako mahata kaniya, o five, mas hindi kaya niya, o bakya siya. So, ako mahata niya, one man. So the, the talents were based on the abilities. They're not the, they are not the same as the abilities. So what, what are these talents? Kung talent, nili ang abilidad, un saman. It's actually very simple. The talents are not a picture of our own abilities. The talents are a picture of the different opportunities that God gives us to make a difference for His kingdom. And there is a difference. Na ikalinan sa abilidad o oportunidad. Ang mga talent mao ang atong mga oportunidad na magimo o kalina, magkuha o ginancha. We could say para sa ingharian sa Dios. This is the same thing right here. God gives us abilities, and then listen carefully. Then He gives us opportunities that fit with our abilities. Ang Diyos, mohatan na ito mga abilidad, dahil siya mohatan na ito ang oportunidad na mohalaga niya, pero ang mga oportunidad maguyon sa abilidad na iyang gihatag na kanato. Is that a clear statement in the sign? Saktan ba? So this, in this story, the talents are not the actual abilities we have, it's the opportunity God gives us. Some people have the same abilities, but not exactly the same opportunities. Diba? Tayo mga tayong tao, may magwali, pero naiusa dito sa takong siyudad, nailaking dito sa mga sa bukit. Priyo-priyo ang abilidad, pero lahit yun ang result at mong lahit ang opportunidad. Are you with me? But God gives us the, the abilities. Why? Because He knows what opportunities He wants to give us in the future. Today, I want to look. Come on, he raised it for me, what? So, go ahead and write it, go ahead and write it. The money equals opportunities. Should we say opportunities to serve God? Make it clear. In case anybody wants to write it down. Nobody's write it down. Okay, there's somebody writing it down. Go ahead. We'll get it there in just a second. Today, I just want to look at the story. And I want you to notice four things about these talents, about the money, kabahin sa mga opportunidad na gihata niya na magkuha o ginansya para sa iyong business. In our case, the opportunity to make a difference for the kingdom of Christ. Go ahead and erase the question. I'm going to make four simple statements today. Upaka statements, simple kayo, 
What is David? Have you looked at home? I don't know about David. That's the problem. Anyway, four statements. And I want us to learn, I think number one, we're going to adjust our thinking. Number two, I think this is going to be an encouragement to us. And, and number three, I believe it's going to be a challenge to us. Four things this morning. I waited perfect time for my to sit down. And you get your notes out good. Number one, I want you to notice four things from this story about the talents. Number one, he did not give all of them the same amount. I don't know that word. It just feels uncomfortable. Cantidad. It's got to be Spanish. And yeah, it's definitely Spanish. With dad at the end. Cantidad. And it makes sense. They had a cuenta cantidad. It makes sense. He did not give all of them the same amount. Now, wait a minute. That's not fair. You know, I won five, Latin two, Latin one, three, fair enough. That's not right. Delete, I'm not, delete. What's the word? Patas? Delete, patas. Oh, wait a minute. People say delete fair. Delete patas. But there's a misunderstanding there. Let's be very careful. The word fair. Was the. But was it fair? Yes. Because fair doesn't mean patas. The world thinks that fair means patas, but fair does not mean patas. Fair does not mean equal. What does fair mean? The word fair, English or not. The word fair means treating everyone properly according to the law. Angulo fair, like pasabot. Now you please show me anywhere in the Bible where God says everyone should get exactly the same thing. Show me where the Bible says that. According to the law of God, God never one time says everybody gets the same treatment. It's not equal, but it is fair. Because fair is according to the law. The world says it's not fair. Everybody should be treated equally. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen very carefully. That is not a principle of the Word of God. Are you listening? Can I tell you a principle of the kinds of people that Joe's not going to tell you? You know what that's called? That's called socialism and communism. You ever heard of communism, communistic China? <laughs> communistic Russia? They say everybody needs to be treated exactly the same. And then what do they do? They immediately start attacking Christianity because the idea of everybody gets the exact same, that's not biblical. Are you listening? God doesn't treat us all the same, and He shouldn't. God treats all of us the same for salvation. Can I say it that way? It, 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 the way of salvation is the same for everybody. There's not different way for rich people, different big way for poor people, different way for Americans. We're saved the same way. We get saved the same way. But after salvation, God treats everyone a little different. He doesn't give us all the exact same life. Financial situation. Listen now, when you start thinking it's unfair, you have accepted a worldly philosophy that does not come from the Word of God. 
It is fair, it's just not equal. But unequal is not wrong. God doesn't give, watch now, does God give all of us the same health? Can, can I just be honest? Have you ever looked at the Guzman family and just thought, it really isn't fair. Their family suffers more with health than any family I've ever seen in my life. You ever feel that way? It just doesn't seem fair. But look, God doesn't give us all the same health. God does not treat us all the same, and He should not. He doesn't, listen to this statement, English or not, He doesn't give us all the same things, the same exact thing in any area. Why does God not treat us all the same? Watch. Because He gives us what we need. Are you listening? Ang Diyos mo hata na to sa atong gikinahan lang. And we don't all need the same thing. And the same thing is true when, when it comes to serving God. That's the area of my pangalaga sa gino. Ang prinsipyo priyo man. He doesn't give us all the same opportunities. Not everybody's a pastor. Not everybody's a staff member. Not everybody is a... a, a, a a Sunday school teacher. Not everybody's a choir member. Not everybody's a nursery worker. We don't all have the same opportunities. We don't all have the same abilities. And that's okay. Are you listening? That's okay. He did not give them all the same amount. Number two. Wala siya ni hata kanilang tanan sa sama nga nawala. Nawala ang pulo ka can't do that, sorry. Number two. He did give all of them something. He did give all of them something. Dili, pareo. Not the same, but he gave them something. Wait. Well, nobody could say, well, I... None of them could say, God didn't give me any opportunities. Well, I'm quite down. No. He's not on the Pinnacle Gemai. Nasha Isa. Hey, listen. He didn't give them all the same thing, and that's right. Listen to me. Patas. In case it's kapatas. Equality. Unkapatas. Is that a word? Unpatas. Unpatas. De le justicia. Can I say it that way? The same equal treatment as far as the same opportunities, the same money. That's not that's not justice, that's not God's way. But he does give everyone something. They did not all watch on down and I five talents, must dock on the opportunity no mufua in a chat, kaisa down and I do all down and I pusa. You know that? They did not all have the same opportunity for to make money for the master. But did they all have an opportunity? Yes or no? Yes. And it's the same for us today. He does give all of us something. You listen to me? You have an opportunity to serve God in some way. I don't care who you are. We all love Kentoy. I think they all went back to bed when I was And see Kentoy, we love Derek. How many of you know Kentoy? He's nine years old. He has a wheelchair. I think he has like cerebral palsy or something like that. We all love Kentoy. Let me tell you something. I don't know how God can use him. But I know God has an opportunity for him to serve. I had a friend, I put him got a deep to US and I see Ike Holt. Ike Holt had a severe case of cerebral palsy. Must if even worse than Kentoy. If Kentoy has the same disease, it's not as bad as Ike's. Ike could not even talk. Right guy on talk. Some of the right guy on the talk. But I problem is control us allow us. See, Ike pretty good in Yana. I would sit next, from the time I was about 14 or 15 years old, I sat next to Ike in church. And I decided I'm going to be Ike's friend. And I helped him turn the pages for his Bible. And Ike drooled all the time. 
Many times, I've done it. I've turned it. On the pages, not the word "na tapo." They're sticking together. Na tapo, na tapo. I'm peeling the pages apart. I'm not allowing us to tap up to it. Many times, I've reached over and I'm pulling pages for me. A big, big print, large print Bible. I remember one time, I'm turning the pages and I sneezed. Ta! <laughs> <laughs> What could somebody like Ike do to serve God? And for a while, when, he, when he first started coming to church, he could walk. And I'm not, you know what, I'm not making fun of him at all, but he could bow, he, had, he would walk like, he had a very hard, I had to be very, very careful. The last time I saw him in my wheelchair, wheelchair did shut it, shut it, shut What could he possibly do to serve God? But he did. He became the usher in our special, we call it uh, Gems and Jewels Sunday School class. It was our special needs class. We call them retarded. They didn't have problems. They mature but they didn't have problems. He was the usher in the special needs Sunday School class. He sat there, and when people came in, he would shake their hand, and he would give them their bulletin, Guess what? This son, he trapped Shah Salawas. He's trapped in a body that he could not use for hardly anything. He found a way to serve God. And can I say to you today, there is something you can do for God. Not kai opportunity. You can't say, Pastor Mike, there's nothing I can do for God. That's simply not true. Not kai opportunity. He gave all of them something. If you have a desire, you can do something for God. Wala ko elabo kung saan mo ka agi. Wala ko elabo kung saan mo mga sayo sa una. Wala ko elabo kung saan mo mga abilidad karon. God can use your life. Ang Diyos, makagamit pa sa iyong kinabuhi if you will give Him your life. There is something you can do. You have unique abilities. Ang imong mga abilidad, lahit sa tanan lain, pag siya niya agad imong sa mga opportunidad na mag-uyong sa iyong abilidad and you can do something for God. Kinang may ito po sa hay. We make a mistake. We stumble into sin. We fall in the matumba that has a lot of books up. It's a calibutan. And we say, I'm just a little bit. I'm not 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 a little bit. Are you listening, guys? Are you listening, guys? You ever heard this? Wala ka kayo tulos. Mas mayo pa ako ikaw pari ka sa kalibutan. Sila mo daw ako nito. You listen to me? That's the devil. God never sends that message. Kung ang Diyos nagundang na kanimo, kabalo na ka. How do you know, Pastor Mike? You'll be looking at him. How do you know if God has given up and He says, you know what? I can't fix your life anymore. You're not obeying. You're in rebellion. I'm bringing you home. Okay. But if you're still breathing, are you listening? He came. He didn't give them all the same opportunities, but he did give all of them some opportunity. Number three. Number three. He did not. I, I, I love this. Listen. 
He didn't give them the same up, up to a same amount. He did give them some up to something. He had Number three. He did not expect the same results from all of them. Wala siya nag expect or wala siya nag dahong na pariyo ang mga resulta sa uh, uh, kanilang tulo. Pili ka talas, ihatag sa unang survey. Pili ka buhok. Pili ka buhok. Uh, I'll give you a clue. Pili ka buhok. Right, Kyle. Pili ka buhok, ihatag sa ikan doha. Man, pwede niya. Kamu na buhok sa Biblia. Tari pa di ko rin niyo. Pili ka buhok, ihatag sa ikan tulo. Ang ikalawa na servant, pariyo ba ang iyong oportunidad sa, sa, sa una? No. Na ba? Pariyo o dali? Dali! So did the master expect him to have the same results? Yes or no? No. Unsa isulti sa master sa unang servant. Ikaw ang negosyo. Master, ikaw niya ako five talents. Ako na sa negosyo, nag-double ko sa akong porta na ay five lagging, so nine ten sa tonan, at mga hata kanimo. And the master said, are you ready? What did the master say? Well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Dayo ang ikaduha ka servant niya buwan. Master, yung ikaduha ka nag-duha ka talents. Ako nag-work. Nag-invest ko. Huwag nag-double na na ay upat karon. Two sa unang nag-dugang duha, upat sa tonan. And what did the master say? Is that what he said? What's wrong with you? Why can't you have five like him? Did he say that? He said, well done. Now good and faithful. Sorry. Stay with me. Different opportunities. Different results. Same commendation. Lahit ang oportunidad. Lahit ang resulta. Pero pariyo mang good ang pagkaya sa master. Well done. Now you do this if you're a pastor this morning. We spend too much time comparing our lives and our service to the, to the lives and service of others. Mag-waste pa ng time mag-compare sa ako. Kiboy ako pag mga lagas at mga lagas sa uban. Now you're not discouraged. Stop. You listen to me. God's not comparing your life to anybody else's life. Ang Diyos, wala na kumpara ni mo, ni bisang kita lahi, nga naman ikaw magkumpara sa mga uliyo sa uban. God's not comparing my life to anybody else's life. Mama Ruth, can you write this on the board for me? I didn't give it to you. Write this down for me, would you please? This is worth writing in your Bible. The next time you get discouraged, you write, you go read this in the back of your Bible somewhere. Write this down. God is not comparing me with other people. Two sentences, my word. God is not comparing me with other people. Anybody want a ball pen? I'm going to need a ball pen. I got one. Anybody want one? Just made us know how to write. No ball pen left? God is not comparing me to other people. Second phrase. He is comparing my service with my opportunities. Ang Diyos wala na kampara sa akong kinabuhi sa kinabuhi sa upan. Siya na kampara sa akong pagpangalagay sa akong mga opportunities. Let me tell you why we get discouraged. Let me tell you why pastors get discouraged. Because they look at their church and they say, my church is smaller than his church. Or, but either way, either way you lose. But God's not comparing me to other people. He's comparing my service, my work, with my opportunities, the opportunities he gave me. Kung ikaw, tinog ato ba ni Cristo, dali siya mga tana, nga naman dali ka sa makaniya, siya mga tana, kung sa'yo mong gini, kung sa'yo mong tulida, na aking ihatag ka nito. What did you do with the opportunities that I gave you? Kung Diyos, 
dili makapara na ko sa uban, dili ko da, dili tapak ko makapara sa kung dili ko sa uban. You listen to what your pastor about to say this morning. Nothing good ever comes from comparison. Walay maayo. Magikan, magtumo, sa man. Magikan sa pagkampara sa imong kinibuhi, sa kinibuhi sa upan. Instead of comparing yourself to other people, compare your work with your opportunities and ask God to help you. If you haven't been using your opportunities, get right with God and use your opportunities, but don't compare to others. Well, I got it, Yana. Well, I pulled those. Can I ask you a question today? Are you taking advantage of the opportunities that God has given you? Nagapahimulos ba ka sa mga oportunidad na gihaktag kanimo sa Diyos? Said number one. He did not give them all the same amount, but he gave all of them something. Number two, I'm sorry, he did give all of them something. Number two, number three, he did not expect the same results from all of them. Well, that's what I expect some pretty old. That he's saying. Number four. He did not expect the same results, but number four, he did expect some results from all of them. The master, what a juice shall I expect though? What a juice shall I need here? Now, the man I was a talent lad, my son is a talent, I believe a talent. But he did expect him to do something. Sometimes we think Huwag ka maya kung nakutunidad kung Diyos tuloy mag-expect na isang kitang ganako. Then you can avoid it. If God gave an opportunity, He expects you to use it. Kung Diyos niya ka niyo sa kutunidad, pag-expect ka siya na ikaw matay mulo sa kutunidad. The Master. Listen to me now. Na ito lukat tao. Five, two, one. Ang Master wala na sa mo kaniya kung ang iyong result ang mas kamay ka siya ha. Samok siya kaniya kung wala siya buhat sa iyak sa iyang opportunidad. He didn't use the opportunity he had. Let's look at the end of the story. We read it earlier. It's our text verse this morning. Matthew 25, verse 25. Matthew 25, verse 25. Matthew 25, verse 25. Kung nara sa iyo, and I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. He said, Well, I could not work, I could not go, it's opportunity, I could not buy more, it's opportunity. I hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not strawed. Verse 25 says, I have not strawed. Verse 25 says, I have not strawed. Tago sa mga isang mong kalinto diha sa yuta tanawa. Dito ikaw, mga baton, niya na imo. Ang iyong nagalo, si tubag, ni ingin niya ka kaniya, ikaw tautan o takulan na sa lugoon. Tanawa ang pulo ni gama sa master para sa tao, sa iyong serving niya. Bikin Watch now. Not because, not because he didn't have the same as someone else, but because he didn't do anything with the opportunity he was given. And the master's words, listen, who is the master a picture of? Kitagi Hulugwai, it's a master in any story. Jesus. And what does Jesus say to the person who does nothing with their opportunities? Two words. Wicked, small. Ouch. God does not expect you. Listen, I'm Joseph Lima Expector, and I come more like it's a Joseph Summer Simon Pastor. I'm a bad Lima Expector, and I come more like it's a Joseph Summer Lima Group. But He does expect you to do something with the opportunities He's given you. I expect their caption, I come 
I don't say that. Well, he don't say that. I don't say that. Do something. Can I ask you a simple question this morning with him? What are you doing with the opportunities you have to do? I don't even know what my opportunities are. Can I make a statement right here? Before you can use, before you even know what your opportunities are, first you must choose to be faithful. Without faithfulness, all the opportunities become worthless. Um, being a good person, Faithfulness to church. Faithfulness in your walk with God. I'm talking read your Bible, pray every day. Matag adlaw. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Before you can find that spot, I'm, this is the area that I'm more like to do. The first step is be faithful. Be where God wants you to be. Do what you're supposed to do. And as you serve God faithfully, then you will be able to see the opportunities that He's given you to serve Him. May I point out the commendation that He gave to the two servants was well done, thou good, and what? Maayo o matinuman mo. Faithful. Challenge you today. Use the opportunities God has given you. And start by being faithful. Faithful. On every head, body, right?